Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Um, trying to do a quick video on um, some of the pipes that I own and some of the tobacco that I like. Um, start with pipes. This is my very first pipe, the one that got me into pipe smoking. It's a church warden. It's uh, made from cherry wood. And me and uh, my buddy back home saw these and thought they were cool looking because they kind of looked like a Gandalf looking pipe. And uh, we decided to grab these up. And yeah, that's how we got into pipe smoking. This is my first one, number one right here. I still smoke it occasionally. I like it. The uh, cherry wood, I mean, at least back then, really didn't make it seem too different of a smoke other than the fact that uh, the bowl is probably a little bit hotter than um, bowls on a briarwood pipe. Um, so there's, that's number one. Um, after uh, getting that pipe and realizing that I was, that I enjoyed pipe smoking and this is something I wanted to get into, I did research and found that I needed to um, find a, a briarwood pipe, a good briarwood pipe. So I went back to the same uh, cigar place that I got that pipe from and I looked through the briarwood pipes and I got this one right here. This is an Eric Norning pipe. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. This is number two. It's the second one I own. It's uh, you know, of course, got a, one of those big old Nording bowls on there. Good smoke. Uh, after that, I think I got this. Well, this is also kind of like along with the first pipe. I also got a, a regular Missouri Meerschaum corn cob. Good pipe. Um, I got another cob that I like to smoke. Is the uh, Cobbit. This is the dwarf sits down, I don't know if you know, it's, it's flat so it sits down, kind of like a poker I guess, but um, it's a great smoke, this, yeah, I like smoking the Cobbits, they're pretty good. Um, see after that, I got my um, first Savinelli, I ordered this off of smokingpipes.com and I was kind of disappointed when I got it, because it was a lot smaller than I anticipated. Like, I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's, the bowl is pretty small. It's one of those Savinelli's that comes with uh, two stems. It's got a church warden stem that you can kind of switch out with it on. Um, I still smoke it, but I usually just use the short stem. Um, but yeah, I was kind of disappointed. I still like it, though. I still, I still smoke it. After that, I got my um, Bing's favorite. It's my favorite pipe. I smoke only English ones out of this. Um, it's my favorite smoke. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting at least one. I love this pipe. After that, I got my um, Jake Hackert pipe. Um, another good one. The um, draw on this is very, very open. It's got a nice big bowl. Um, I like smoking not just English blends, but Specific blends, I guess. I like smoking um, my Frog Mortons out of this one, as well as well as uh, my Nording too. Something about these big, bigger, bold pipes that just smoke Frog Morton a little bit better. Out of um, I like smoking Frog Morton out of this. I also like smoking um, like uh, Country Squires, Rivendell, a couple, a couple other blends. I like smoking a lot of Perique. Uh, a lot of blends that have Perique in. I like smoking out of this this pipe. Then I got that. I got this uh, Savinelli Quandale. Um, I smoke mostly aromatics out of this one. I really like the look and feel of it. This is, uh, again, one of my favorite pipes. I love all my Savinelli's so far. They've all been really good smokers to me. <laughs> From my experience, they've been great, great smokes. I got my, um, after that I got my L. Dagner. Um, I got it off of DagnerPipes.com. This is, um, I, I mostly smoke uh, Virginia's out of this one. Um, 
I love this pipe because I can just kind of throw it in my pocket or, you know, throw it anywhere because of the size and convenience of it and take it anywhere and just kind of smoke it. We're all going to smoke it. Yeah, I love this pipe for sure. It's one of my favorites. I think it's just perfect. My dad, he got this one. He says he loves it too. He said it's smaller than he thought it would be, but it's, it's exactly how I thought I thought it would be for me. I thought it was, you know, I knew I knew I wanted kind of that smaller, you know, easy, um, portable, more portable pipe, I guess. After that, I got, recently just got, this is my newest pipe so far. This is my um, near up. I did a box opening with this on my last video, I think. Um, and after opening it and just looking at it, something about the way it looks, I decided I was just going to smoke aromatics out of this one. And it smokes great. I love I love the way it smokes. I think it looks awesome. It's just got a really cool look to it. Stems, pretty cool. Nice rustication on there. Pretty decent sized bowl. Yeah. Then um, this is my girlfriend's pipe. It's just like a, just like a little bent billiard briarwood uh, basket pipe. Um, if you watched the last video I posted, she talks about how um, Tom, the tobacconist at our local pipe shop, um, bought her this for her first briar pipe because she was just smoking out of a corn cob before then. It was super nice of him. But yeah, this is her her pipe. Um, this one was a gift. For my father from Christmas. Um, I smoke it occasionally, but I mostly just use it as, as a display over my bed. It's got my name there, um, written in, um, it says Alex and Elvish, I think. I hope that's what it says. <laughs> but yeah, it says, it's supposed to say my name in Elvish. But yeah, those are all of my pipes um, so far. I got one that's in the mail that I bought from um, a buddy I met at the LA Pipe Club meeting. Um, he made me a custom pipe that I asked for and sent me the pictures of it. It looks awesome. He goes on Instagram under the name uh, Garage Made Pipe Tool. So he has some really cool looking custom pipes, so check him out. Um, so I'm gonna go into some of the blends that I like or don't like. Most of the ones I do like. So, um, Frog Mortons. I got these tanned in there or in, or in mason jars, but um, Frog Mortons uh, can't go wrong with these. These are just like my one of the first one of the first English blends that I really got into that I just really really loved. Frog Mortons just um, yeah they they kind of take me back because that when we when I first got into smoking, uh, pipe smoking, um, we were smoking uh, Air Max at first, didn't like them, and then we got a couple other English ones like Nightcap, which was alright, um, I think Jackknife Plug, Early Morning Pipe, those, and they were okay. Um, not th nothing that really jumped out at me, but those Frog Mortons were the first one that I tried that just really kind of like grasped me while I was like, man, I, this taste, I, I really enjoy smoking these. Um, other here's other English blends I enjoy. Uh, Three Oaks Syrian. This yeah, this one's Three Oaks Syrian. This one's regular Three Oaks. Um, Three Oaks Syrian. I I love this one. This is uh, up there, one of my favorite um, English blends for sure. For some reason, the regular Three Oaks just didn't do the same for me. It's just um, I got it in a mason jar to kind of sit around and see if it a little aging will do anything to it, but. Um, just didn't really do anything for me. The um, Three Oaks Syrian, though, I think it just has more of like a, um, I don't know, like a velvety, more of a creamier taste, I guess. I don't know, but uh, I really enjoy Three Oaks Syrian. <clears throat> this is another one of those I tried that um, I was looking forward to it a lot. It just didn't... It didn't really hit a spot, I guess, so I got it also in a mason jar to kind of sit and see if it does anything for me later on. This is H&H uh, &H Vintage Syrian by Mac Baron. Um, it wasn't bad. It was, it was good. 
it just wasn't anything special. I enjoyed it though. <clears throat> see here. See GLP's sixpence. Um, I somewhat enjoyed this one. I opened it and right off the bat, just hated the the tin note. It smelled like a vinegary kind of ketchup, kind of cheap liquor. I don't know. <laughs> it just had a really nasty smell to me. It wasn't very appealing. When you, when I lit it though. It smelled a lot better. Um, tasted pretty good, a lot better than I thought it would. Just didn't didn't really grasp me though. Like I said, just kind of one of those things that maybe I'll smoke it again out of a different pipe or something. I'll like it, but didn't hate it. Just wasn't one of my favorites. Nightcap. Um, I bought this at a local cigar shop. Um, this is. Uh, Irish whiskey by Peterson. Um, just thought it was absolutely terrible. <laughs> uh, maybe that I'm just not, you know, grown to the taste of whatever's in this. I didn't really do a lot of reading on it. I just kind of grabbed it because of the name, I guess. Um, it says a traditional Irish ready rubbed blend, tobacco leaf from Africa, Brazil, India, and Italy, lightly flavored with Irish whiskey for a unique aroma. It didn't taste. I don't even know what it, I don't, it's been a while since I had it like a long time but I remember when I did taste it it was just very I don't know not very good <laughs> um, Dunhill Dura Bar Mixture I haven't had this one in a while either um, I just remember this being as one that I liked but um, nothing that it was just crazy nothing, nothing too crazy about I, I really enjoyed it though um, I don't have more than this I have the tin, but I have the mason jar. GOP's uh, Gaslight. This one is one of my favorite English blends that I've had. This is one of those that kind of stuck out a little different than some of the other ones I've had. It just has like a unique flavor to it. Um, I'd have to smoke it again to kind of describe what I taste in there, but I just know that this is one of those. I really, I really love smoking this one. This one's really good. <clears throat> See, plum pudding. Um, my dad really likes this one. He thinks this one kind of tastes similar to Gaslight, the one I just showed. Um, I don't think so. I think it tastes maybe similar. I think Gaslight has a little bit more of like a spicy taste, like a spicy, peppery taste that I kind of like. But this one's missing. This one's good too. It's just. Um, I just, it doesn't hit the spot as much as that gaslight does for me, but I, I do enjoy plum pudding. Um, bat with a hat. I love this stuff. Um, I got this. I heard um, the Dagners, they were, I think, uh, yeah, Jason was talking about how much he liked this. So I got online and I had to try me a jar or a tin. And. Um, Went through it pretty quick. <laughs> I definitely love this stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, I have this is um, Sutliff Old San Francisco. I have not tried it yet. I've had it for a while, and I opened it to smell it, <laughs> and I just kind of threw it in a mason jar. It's been sitting there for I don't know like a month or two. I have not tried it yet. Um, Taste of summer, ugh. <laughs> this was just awful. Like I, it's, I read it. It got decent reviews for like an aromatic. I like some aromatics. I don't know this. I, I, I can't remember what I smoked it out of, but um, it had like a peach flavor for sure. But it was just like a it tasted like chemicals. It's like a, I don't know, like a like peaches and chlorine. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what it tasted like to me. Like I just, I really didn't like this one at all. Um. McClellan's Black Shag, another one at my local tobacco shop. I, I looked up reviews on this one. It didn't get too great reviews. Um, it wasn't, when I smoked it, it wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't awful. And I mean, it was good enough to where I kept a little bit just to try every now and then. And um, I think it was just kind of basic. It's just like a, like a dark Virginia. I don't know, taste. It's all right. 
but it wasn't wasn't that great. <sighs> Orlick Golden Sliced. Um, I love this stuff now. Um, when I first tried it, I didn't really like it that much. Um, I smoked this one out of my L. Dagner, and whenever I smoked it out of this one, I just loved it. I don't know. I think it's maybe because it's shorter and it was a little. I don't know. It just I could taste the. Um, the, the sweetness that came from this a lot better from this pipe for some reason. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff now. <clears throat> H Snake H Old Dark Fire. I've heard a lot of good stuff about this. I've tried, um, I tried smoking this one out of my L Dagner since it's kind of more of a Virginia, I think. Um, and um, didn't, didn't really hit me. Um, didn't really enjoy it very much. Maybe use the wind or whatever. It was hard for me to light it, and um, I tried a couple times, and it just didn't taste that great to me. I'll probably try this out of a different pipe, or maybe let it sit for a little bit and try it again. But wasn't a huge fan, personally. Um, before I go further, I'm, I've only been doing this for about like a year. I'm not like a tobacconist or anyone. I don't have like a super experienced or super advanced palette, so I'll tell, I might do videos and say that if I like it or not and what, what it tasted like, but these aren't what I would, I wouldn't put this under like reviews. This is just like personal opinions on, on stuff. Um, this one is Deep Hollow by McClellan's. I actually like this one a lot at first. I got this one. Um, I didn't know what to think. I, I literally just bought this because I thought that it looked cool <laughs> online. I saw the tan. I thought it just kind of looked neat, and um, and the name just sounded interesting. So I bought this. I put it in my Quandale pipe, and I uh, I smoked it, and it kind of tasted like cookies. Very light, aromatic. I think it's just I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but I think it's pretty good. Um, I put it in a jar. I let it sit for a while, and didn't like it as much anymore. Now, uh, it just the flavor is just kind of just kind of bland now. Just don't really taste anything from it. But um, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a little too dry. Maybe. But I do like this. I guess just on certain occasions. I don't know. <clears throat> what else do I got? Uh, Sleepy Hollow. Um, I went home on leave a few months ago, and uh, my dad had a whole bunch of this, and he told me how you could only get it like every October and everything. This stuff is amazing. <laughs> I love this stuff. I'm trying to, I try to only smoke this every now and then, like on occasions or something, because I'm trying to let this one jar last me till next October, because I loved it so much. This is probably all I smoked while I was home uh, that leave. And, uh, yeah, I really love Sleepy Hollow. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, these are Country Squires Rivendell and Country Squires, um, oh, this is Deep Hollow. My bad. Alright, you did that one. Uh, Country Squires Rivendell and Country Squires Second Breakfast. Um, aromatics. Um, I, I really love Rivendell. Uh, well, these are both um, from the Country Squires Middle Earth Tobacco Series. Um, they're out of Jackson, Mississippi. Um, they have a really cool um, pipe-oriented podcast that they do. But, um, but yeah, uh, this is... Country Squires Rivendell, Country Squires Second Breakfast. I really love Rivendell. It's kind of more of like a chocolatey, woody, nutty. Um, it's got a little more complex. It's a little denser. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I really like this one. Second Breakfast is a lot, a little too sweet for me. Um, it's pretty good, but it just burns a little too hot and a little too sweet. But they're both pretty good. And then the last, oh, a couple more. Almost done. And then um, this one's also from Middle Earth series from the Country Squires, Green Dragon. They made this tobacco whenever they were, uh, they, they made this tobacco for a long smoke contest. 
uh, he was trying to make a, cl a crowd pleaser. And so this is, I think, supposed to be more of a crossover blend between like an aromatic or an English. I think it might have some lot of key in there. It's like a light aromatic. It's, um, I love this stuff. I'm definitely gonna order a lot more of this uh, from from those guys. This stuff is is really really good. And there's also a couple more from the Country Squires, uh, Cherokee and Choctaw. Uh, they're very very similar. Similar. Um, I don't know which one I like better. Uh, they both taste very similar. They're very light aromatics, not too syrupy, um, light on the tongue. Um, just really good, nice and sweet aromatics. <clears throat> and then, let's see, I just, hold on. I just got some tobacco in yesterday. I got my Bengal slices in. I have had this and this is amazing. So I had to buy me at least one ten of this stuff. Can't wait to crack that open. Uh, Colt Abacus, uh, my dad tried this. He said it was pretty good, kind of like a crossover blend. So I wanted to try it out. And this one I just saw on there and had some good reviews for an aromatic one. Old Shenandoah barrel number 76. And I can't wait to try all of these out. And yeah, I'll let you know how I think, I guess. But um, yep, yeah, that's my video. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Alex with Pipe Lugans.